Hey, nerdlings. Well, hello, nerdlings. So, uh, one of the places that we always love to go for all of our nerdy goodness is Vintage Stock. Yeah, because they have games, movies, toys, comic books. It's the nerd mecca, music, everything, music, books, did I say did movies, you say books, movies, books, statues. CDs. Uh, there's clothes. Cardboard I saw a horse in there once. <laughs> anyway, if you've never <laughs> been to the Vintage tons. Stock, uh, also they're kind of they're also on. I don't know if they own or owned by Entertain Mart. Let's call it affiliated. Uh, yeah, they're affiliated with it. I never know who owns who. Anyway, so they've got a bunch of stuff, and they were having sales galore. They were 30% off. Uh, 33. It's a weird number. 33% off all pre-owned toys. And buy two, get one free on new and used Funko Pops. Which, that's a, that's a great time to get some Funko Pops. It is. It's a great time to get anything. But yeah, Funko Pops especially. <laughs> unless so, unless your wallet hurts to begin with. And it's not such a great time. And he's such a good guy to me. He <laughs> let me go a little crazy. She went a lot of crazy. Let's see how crazy you went. Well, let's start with the Funkos. So... <clears throat> We all love Ghostbusters, it's great. And I grew up loving Sigourney Weaver. My dad, I think, had a big crush on her, so he kind of imparted <laughs> the Sigourney Weaver love on me. And a little fun fact, he tried to get my mother to name me Sigourney. She was not having it, though. <laughs> I actually think that would have been pretty cool. But anyway, don't know if I could spell it. I, I'd probably be calling her Siggy all the time. That's actually cute. I like it. Anyway, so I got me, was she the gatekeeper? Yeah, she was the gatekeeper. I always get her in the Keymaster mix-up. Anyway, here she is in her really sexy, off-the-shoulder gatekeeper dress. So, I always love that. And then, obviously, to go with her, we've got the Keymaster. Would you like some coffee? Yes, have some. Yes, have some. <laughs> I really wish he would say that, but I think he is adorable with his little head thingy. And... He's, he's got his pizza. Yeah, he's got his he's pizza. He's got his head gear. Yeah, so I couldn't, I couldn't pass that up. So... That is pretty great. I got two of those. And then my free one was... The Ghostbusters are really good guys. And one time I turned into a dog and they helped me. Thank you. <laughs> anyway, so my free Funko was Red Sonia. Now, I've actually never read the Red Sonia comics. And actually, just like the Conan... The Barbarian, I didn't know they were comics to begin with. I just always, I just was in love with Arnold Schwarzenegger as, as Conan the Barbarian and Conan the Destroyer. And then obviously the movie Red Sonja comes out, he's in that as well. So then I fall in love with Red Sonja because of Arnold Schwarzenegger and Kevin, six degrees of Kevin Bacon later. So this one is a really cool one because they have two variants of this one. It's this one Don't that's covered in blood and then ex this exact one. It's not covered in blood. And the neat thing is, I don't know if you can see on the box, but the box is blood splattered. So I don't usually keep Funko boxes. I usually toss them, but I might keep this one just because of the blood splatter. They kind of have done the same thing. There's a Negan one out there that he's blood splattered. But I thought she was really cool looking. And the the funny thing is, she, if you've ever seen the 80s Red Sonja movie, her outfit is almost pretty on par with this. I mean, they did, they did a really good job with that one. Now, uh, just a quick shout out to the employees at Vintage Stock. Um, with all due respect, some of them are hit or miss. But uh, the guy that helped us with this one, we were actually at a Joplin store, Joplin, Missouri, and it was the one in the mall. We had gone to the standalone store earlier that day. Yes. They had the same figure for, what was it, like about? Like $6.95. Like five bucks cheaper than what? Yeah, because this one, one, the mall was. one had it for $10.95. The other one was $6.95. And so I'd stopped an employee and I said, hey, do you guys price match your own stores? And he goes, well, what do you mean? And I said, well, there's a, this exact Funko is over there. Uh, for six ninety five over there, and you've got it for ten ninety five, and I'd rather get it for that price. So I and he goes, well, it might just be a different variant. And he was trying to explain away why they price things Pretty a much differently. Once she got to the point where she said, "Look, I'll just drive." Yeah, over I said, there "Look, and I'll just drive over bucks. to the other side of town just so I can save four dollars." And he goes, "You know what? Let me go check on that because there might have just been one that was mispriced." And I said, "They had four of them. They were it wasn't one mispriced." <laughs> So anyway, he goes and he calls, and it was that, in fact, cheaper price. So he actually, he's like, here, I'll do you one better than them. And he gave it to me for $5.99. So uh, that was so, really yeah. cool. So I just wanted to give a shout yeah. out to him. I'm very sorry. We didn't get your name. We were kind of flustered already. I think uh, she was going nuts with all the toys to get through. I was a little, little overwhelmed. But uh, again, thank you very much for yes. calling and checking. And guys, just kind of a shout out to you to let you know, 
it doesn't hurt to ask, you know, talk to these people, be respectful, please. But, uh, you know, talk to them and a lot of times they can help you out. Yes. So, yeah. Red Sonia. And then we came back to the Springfield finish stock and I managed to pick up three more wonderful buy two get one freeze. <laughs> so these are not quite as related as those guys. I got a Catwoman to add to my Catwoman collection. <laughs> because uh, she does kind of have a few of those figures. If you couldn't see <laughs> back there. Yeah. And the, aside from the 60s con uh, show, the Batman animated series is my favorite version of Catwoman. She was a lot of fun in that one. So, then to move on, and I do apologize, I have not seen the new Hellboy movie, but um, this Queen of the Blood just looked really freaking cool. So, I do mean to watch it. We have it on our list to watch. So, it's one of those things I am curious to, to see this character because she looks really cool. She's got a pretty hefty crown going she on She does, there. and she's got nice red hair and little, a pretty red holds skirt. Holding a little skull so you know not to mess with her. Yeah. Because, you know, I mean, when you're the queen of the blood, that, that doesn't say leave me alone enough as no, is. No, no, no. And then, of course, last but not least, I loved Fraggle Rock as a kid, and Monkey was my favorite Fraggle, and then you've got those little like builder guys, little Dozer, he was my favorite of the little guys. Laugh the day away. <laughs> Save but, it for a rainy. Anyway, the Fraggle Rock ones are fun because they all come with one of the little guys, so I, I couldn't pass that up. I absolutely loved that. Which, uh, real quick, is that something that you guys like? I know that with the uh, Nino Kuni 2 Revenant King game that just came out, they were pairing a lot of their Funko Pops with the, the little, yeah, the little guys. What are they, Hibbledy Bees, I think they're called yeah. in the game? And I was actually, I was looking for those since it was buy two, get one free, and I they, they didn't have any of those. I so was what disappointed. I, what I wanted to know was, uh, do you guys like when Funko does stuff like that? Whether it's a little figure like that, or uh, when they change things up and put them in like, you know, bigger pieces, mm -hmm. the uh, some of the Harry Potter characters in the train and the Hogwarts Express. Yeah. Uh, I think we've seen Ghostbusters in the Ecto-1. Just yes. kind of, yeah. you like when Funko Howard changes the it up. Howard the Duck in a spaceship. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, so that's my Funkos. And then we move on to the toys that I got. And so I had to pick up, I love, you know, I love my bombshells. Woo, yeah. So I had to get a Harley Quinn bombshell because I, I, I guess she's becoming hard to find because anytime I go anywhere I haven't been able to find her and haven't been able to find her get her online uber expensive and they finally I guess got one back in stock or had one so I, I was like you know what I'm not gonna pass it up this time I'm gonna get it so anyway so of course she has uh, various hands and so she can hold her like, gun or her it's like a gun mallet. <laughs> and I love that she has that bomber jacket and like the you know the, the combat boots yeah. well I mean I it's very I don't know, it's very stylish the way they have her dressed. You know, some of the other characters, I don't know, it's it's hit or miss for me. Yeah. But Bombshell Harley looks really cool. Yes. Yes. And then I got me some Star Trek characters. And if you watched the um, the garage sale video, the Springfield garage sale video, you saw that I got Janeway with Belana Torres's card. <laughs> so when I found Janeway with her proper card, <laughs> I decided I shall get that so that I have her right card. So there's that one. And then one of my favorite characters from Deep Space Nine was Jitsia Dax. Oh, yeah. So I had to get Jitsia Dax. I, I liked Dax as well. Uh, there was a particular episode where she was flirting I think with another, what were they? What were their species oh, called? Gosh, trill. I, knew you were gonna ask that. I think so. But uh, she was flirting with another trill, and they're like, maybe we can go back to your place and count each other's spots. Yeah, it's that like, was Woo! cute. I always Be personally. Yowza. One of the things I loved about it was she's clearly younger and a female, but her previous host was friends with Commander Cisco, and so it was always fun when she would have that repertoire with him. That's but right. But she would always talk to him about being a young. You're so young, you young man, and it's like he's older than you now. Didn't Cisco also refer to her as old man? Yes, he would always call her old man. That was my point with saying, you know, younger and female, because he would say, "Shut up, old man," and it was just, it was just funny. You may call me old man. <laughs> anyway, and then the last Star Trek figure I got was, um, whoa, walks out of Troy. Dead. She's dead. <laughs> well, she is. Woo. <laughs> anyway, I got Waxana Troy, Deanna Troy's mother, and it's... It's okay! <laughs> I can fly! I'm a no. witch! 
We are not doing any Star Wars. Oh, she's not a Leia. <laughs> she's not a Leia. But anyway, I got her for several reasons. Um, the character of Oxana Troy was a little kind of irritating, but she was just an overbearing mother, which I think she did a great job in her role. But I don't know if any of you know that if you're a good Trekkie, you do know this. Um, she is the, the actress is actually the wife of Gene Roddenberry, and she's also the voice of the computer. So, and I think, I can't remember if she was the voice in the original of the computer as well, but I know in Next Generation she was the voice of the computer. So it's kind of one of those, you know, as a nostalgia stuff, I wanted to get that. And she comes with her card and a, a stand and then... I Basically, love how, it looks like everything from the blister pack except for the backboard and... and well, she's got Han's head in a box, yeah. Han Solo's head. <laughs> but anyway, I, it always cracks me up with these, that they come with accessories, but it's like they're all the same color no matter what the accessory <laughs> is. And sometimes they're pink, sometimes they're like teal, so it's always I'm, it's I'm not quite sure what that accessory right there yeah, is. Yeah, we know what that this, accessory this is. This one, right? I mean, what's... what? <laughs> we know what that accessory is. Yeah, I, and I don't mean, to, don't mean to continue being so pervy, but... Wasn't there an episode of Next Generation where she was basically having everyone go into heat because, like, something about her empathic powers was imprinting on someone? Something like that. It's been a while since I've watched them all. weird episodes. Yeah. And she's got her feet, <laughs> just in case you were curious. There's a little feet. And then they... Anyway, that's Waxana. The other thing I got was a loose figure of Jack-O-Lantern. He was really cool. cool. I actually don't know anything about him. I didn't even know his name was Jack O' Lantern. I literally just looked up Marvel <laughs> Jack O' Lantern and then he popped up so that I knew who he was. I just liked him because, yeah, he did. It was cool looking and I was like, he'd make a really cool Halloween decoration. So but he, he comes with a firebolt, apparently, <laughs> <laughs> and a sickle. But this really does look like a Harry Potter fireball. Yeah, it does. <laughs> I'm going to be Quidditch champion. <laughs> <laughs> you know, he would actually be fun to hang from the ceiling. <laughs> and then I got, um, I don't know if these are Funkos, what brand these are anyway, but I got a little Wonder Woman. Oh, look at it. It's not a door. So I don't know what. I have a couple of those figures. Anyway. And I also have been uh, getting into comics a lot lately. And one of the comics that I kind of got into by accident, uh, another Six Degrees of Kevin Bacon thing, I love Michael Shanks from SG-1, and he was on an episode of Smallville playing Hawkman. And so I was like, ooh, I love Michael Shanks. Who is this Hawkman? Why is he playing some weird guy named Hawkman? So I looked up Hawkman and learned that its origins are in Egyptian stuff, which I absolutely love anything Egyptian. I even, guess what guys? I have an Egyptian tattoo. Ooh. But anyway, um, so I thought that was really cool that Hawkman and Hawk Girl are um, all constantly being reincarnated. The minute they find each other, something happens to them and they get killed or whatever, and it's a curse. And so. I just thought that was really neat. So I just thought, you know, I started, why don't I just start reading the comics? So I got me some Hawkman and Hawk Girl keychains. So, and I've been picking up some other comics and trying to check those out and read those and, you know, just kind of, <laughs> kind of like I said, it was one of those accidental finds. And then the last thing that I got, this was kind of a both of us mutual like <laughs> kind of a thing. We both, I saw it first and then let, passed on it and then he saw it and we were both like, you know what, I kind of like that. So. Anyway, it's an earthworm gym toy. It's good old princess, what's her name? Yeah. <laughs> so I just thought she was really cute looking. And since both of us liked a toy, I was like, ooh, he won't get mad at me for buying it. <laughs> <laughs> the other thing is, um, on the back, there were a bunch of other toys. And the thing is, I think both of us agreed that there weren't really any others that we were interested in. So it was kind of fortuitous that uh, Princess What's-Her-Name was the one that yeah. they had. Yeah. Because that's the only one that we really wanted. Exactly, yeah. So. Now we can find the Dark Queen from Battletoads. That'll be perfect. Make the Battletoads sound again. I like the song. <laughs> Anyway, that is my toy pickup uh, from, what was that, is that four? Four different vintage shops. <laughs> but you we know go what? all out we do. when there's a sale. When there's a sale. That's why we can have all of these collectibles, is because we buy on sale. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. So anyway, let us know in the comments below if you've got any of these toys, if you like any of these toys. 
Uh, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Uh, like this video. The little bell you can click on. <laughs> <laughs> uh, she's probably going to get some uh, better pictures, closer looks at or. Your, your your term, closer upper looks. Closer upper lookers. At uh, some of her toys and everything. And yeah, I try to put those, those on, on Facebook and Instagram. So make sure you check those pages out as well. Yep. And um, as always, nerdlings, thanks for watching our video. <laughs>